What's up, Yusko's Armory? This is an unlocking fun in Armored Squad. What I'm going to do is see how well this connected controller works on this game. So let's go ahead and start by pressing start. It says connecting. Okay, let's see if I hit the arrows, does it do anything? Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Joystick. Uh, down on the joystick has brought up the name thing. Pressing B doesn't do anything. Pressing A, nothing. X, nothing. Y does nothing. The bumpers do nothing. Triggers do nothing. Let's try pressing start again. No. The back button, no. I'm stuck, so. I'll just hit the screen for this part. Let's go ahead and see how it works in here. Uh, we'll do just we'll do just the towers. See how well it works in the towers. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to see what buttons work for what, and what buttons don't work. So we have the bumpers, the triggers, two of each for that on either side. We got B, Y, X, A, the joysticks, start and back in the middle here, and the D-pad. For those of you who are not familiar with this controller. Okay. So I'll go ahead and be Demo Man, and let's see, using the joystick, yep, okay, so one joystick moves me around, other joystick, there we go, I can look around, I can move around, I'm going to hit the trigger, that does nothing, hit a bumper, does nothing, other bumper, oh, my left bumper does shield, okay, and if I hold it down, it does the force push. Okay, left trigger. Does nothing. How about A? A with movement. Nothing. Uh, X. Okay. Okay. So, X controls the equipment. What about Y? Y does nothing. And B? Okay, B does the right weapon. And pressing down on the joystick doesn't do anything. Pressing down on either joystick doesn't do anything. Uh, pressing the D-pad doesn't do anything. Let's press the back button. Alright, that brings up the menu. Gotta exit out of that. Can't exit out of that. I have to hit, click on the screen. And let's hit the start button. And that brings up the top menu. Even though I can't type with it. Alright. Well, uh, there definitely needs to be an update where these can be used. I would love to be able to use a wireless controller Bluetooth to my phone to play this game so obviously one of these buttons needs to be able to switch the gun that wasn't available maybe the d-pads can control these the emojis uh, a obviously needs to be able to hit the booster or the jump pads or the speed um, jets and uh, the trigger should be able to fire it automatically. The other trigger should be able to zoom in if you have a sniper. So once you get a sniper, you hit the other trigger, it zooms in. Uh, I, I suggest Y is for the turret. Um, melee wasn't... Melee didn't have anything, but melee could be for if you press down 
on the joystick or if you hit right bumper I don't think right bumper had anything so there are a lot of button presses that you could use for things that weren't used so the things that were used were the shield the equipment the right weapon things that weren't used were the jumps the melee the turret the emojis the firing the z uh, zoom in with the sniper and a successful menu uh, scroll because I'm in the menu and I cannot oh I use the joysticks okay I only use one of the joysticks I can only use one of the joysticks to go up and down in the menu let's see how it does in the garage okay okay Let's see. Can I go all the way over? There we go. Okay. So it works pretty well in the menu. And that's pretty basic. But it still has a few buttons that it could add for boost and stuff. All those things I talked about. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.